you were under pressure and it was like you were being interrogated by someone that was the most strict and serious person in the whole universe. But then, at the same time, that person would make fun of you and you'd suddenly feel awkward. And a few moments later, you'd beg the earth to gobble you up just like a frog eating a fly would do. And then, poof, you'd vanish. Both Bob and Alstro had the sudden feeling of an enormously huge silence between both of them. Yes, I've got it, finally, thought Alstro. He tried the quiet, quiet technique, which always worked on Bob. If you want to know how to play it, it's a piece of cake. All you've got to do is don't move a muscle and stay as quiet as possible so that the other player will get really angry and annoyed. Finally, Bob managed somehow to stop gesturing and, at least for a few seconds, look at what Alstro had to say. Three hours had passed and Bob finished putting together what Alstro told him about two boring hours ago. You what? signalled Bob enthusiastically. Shh! Lower your hand's voice. Anyone could see you, replied Alstro. The next week went as normal. So did the following one. But the thing that Alstro told Bob was tremendously huge. And I think I did mention at the beginning that when someone, anybody at all, told Bob something major, the whole planet would know. And that's exactly what happened in the third week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can find out more about the life in Quiet Quietville and how Alstro becomes and fights through the obstacles by reading the book. Subscribe to my channel by clicking this button right here. Bye!